Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, everybody. Praise be to God on this great day. So, on this episode, we're tackling the Boggly Woods. My least favorite world in the game. Wee! <laughs> Time to get to work, lovelies. Okay, I think that's the voice I'm giving Beldum now. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do? Yes. Mm hmm. A. Find that Mario guy, and B. Steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian, but you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what, you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely. I just had to pick it up. Hmph, <laughs> Vivian, for shame, picking up someone's scraps. Disgusting, greedy. But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out that sketch of that Mario guy you got from Grotus. Me! <laughs> Eep! What? I. I don't have that! You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous! I don't have that, Fane! You were in charge of it! You wretched little worm! Blaming me for something you probably screwed up! But I... Gah! Gah! Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf! Save your games for later! Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious, precious, yeah, precious sketch. But, listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But... but Baldum... Oh, you're horrid! Well, this is, um... an interesting predicament. <laughs> oh, there's a sleepy sheep in the tree. Also, I think I realized I probably should have deposited my slow shroom and gradual syrup and shroom steak into the store before coming here. Oh, well. This is the youngest sister of the three. The oldest one really picks on her, huh? I don't know whose picture they're talking about, but you think she really lost it? <laughs> oh, what am I to do? I guess that's the middle sister. She seems like the strong, silent type to me. Hmm, I can't get a good read on this girl at all. That's a, supposed to be a girl? Uh, guh! Guh! Because that's, I swear, that's the voice that he, she deserves. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us! Scram! Right now! I have no business with you! This shady woman is certainly selfish and mean. I mean, what a total meanie! You see how cruel she is to her own sister? I wonder what went on between them. Okay, yeah, I know that they're all sisters, but honestly, Vivian is the only one who really looks like a girl. She, no offense, looks like one of those big dudes. Like, she looks a little like Jumba from the Lilo and Stitch series, and, uh... I guess Beldum could be a witch, but honestly, that's just the voice I feel like fits Beldum the best, so... Sorry if I'm ruining your childhood by giving them bad voices. Oh boy! And Piranha Plants have officially arrived into the game. And you remember Clefts? We fought them because we failed the quiz show. Alright, let's tattle on the Pale Piranha. That's a Pale Piranha! You know about these guys, the famous Piranha Plants. This colorless subspecies is adapted to Boggly Woods. Ah, the wonders of nature! Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 0. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. Well, luckily, we have a hammer. So just don't jump on the Piranha Plants, and you'll be fine. Ouch. And we know what to do with Clefts. Power Smash. And the tree's gonna fall, anyways. But that wouldn't have damaged him, anyways. So the Boggly Woods, like I've said, it's basically like the flower fields of the game. Not quite as much backtracking, but 
it's the weakest world of the bunch. Well, that's not good now, is it? Could use a sleepy sheep, but I won't. It's probably gonna take me a couple turns to get rid of these guys anyways. It's, it appears Power Smash makes the background fall faster. Let's get out Koops, because Goombella can't jump on the Piranha's head. Ah, damage dodge, I love you. Okay, I gotta work on that. <laughs> Sorry, Koops, the audience doesn't love you. And it's my fault. Honey syrup, that's nice. I would use it if I weren't about to get a level up anyways. Yuck! Well, since I'm about to get a level up, I think we'll just use our special move, Earth Tremor. Otherwise, I would have gotten out Koops to use Power Shell. Oh, that's not good. I don't think that's even going to kill them all. I think that'll only damage free. Darn it! Well, at least Mario won't take that damage. Koops, get rid of these guys. Do, 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 do. We get a level up. All right, more BP. BP is always a good choice, especially when you've got a lot of badges. All right, let's see what will be helpful. Item hog could be helpful, except I'm already very... <laughs> I already have a lot of items at my disposal. Ah, uh, piercing below? That could work. Well, not really well in this world. I think I'll just equip HP+. plus. So yes, I could have just upgraded my HP, but if you, when you upgrade your BP, it's more flexible. Make sure you hit all the trees, because you never know what might fall from them. You could get a star piece, or something like that. There! Can you see it? That big tree! That is one big tree. That's what I was telling you about! That's where we punies live! That's home! Uh, of course, it's not just us in that tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me! <laughs> Nothing that way. And yep, you can see that ink coupon hidden there. I'm not even going to pick that up just yet. <laughs> not unless I can deposit some items in the nearby shop. What up, Punio? Uh... Oh no, what's the matter? Uh, well, take a look! This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh... Um... Hmm... Um... Mm, got it! What up? Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there! I'm completely sure of it! Uh, problem is... I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know. Well, it's hidden by this invisible... Feeny. We need to find and remove the Feeny. Boy, but removing a normal Feeny sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. 
Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the Feeny away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Eh, I guess there's a little bit of backtracking, but it's not too bad. The base of the great tree! It sure is big up close. I mean, wowzer, seriously. It must have watched over the Boggly Woods for over a thousand years. That's insane! What's even more insane is back here. There's the FP Plus badge, which increases maximum FP by five. I think I will equip that instead of HP Plus. At this point in the game, I value FP a little more. Whoa. Did I just equip Slogo by mistake? Yes, I did. And here I found my controller was acting up. That is why you do not equip Slogo. Ever. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow more, even more lovely here. Plus those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave the hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. I'm not sure if this is the right voice to give Flurry. Maybe the Gigi Galaxy voice. <laughs> it's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I'm... Now. But before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! God, I tell you! Bye! Bye! Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of people like, Flurry does not sound like that. Well, guess what? That's the voice I'm giving Flurry. I can't do girls' voices. And she definitely has one of those rich female voices. Like, oh, it's so lovely to meet you. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's voice in no time. Yes, not picking up the end coupon. I'll save that for another time. When I have room in my inventory. Yeah, I have 20 FP now. This is great. Also, in the first game where BP caps at 30, I think in this it caps at, um... 99. So... <laughs> there is plenty of room to level up. Ah, I was wondering when I was going to see those guys. And Luigi's in the audience, cheering us on. Yay! That's Dark Puff. It's basically a tiny, mean thunderhead. Max HP is free, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch! You know what I mean, right? Bzzz. Shocking! After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can. I totally forgot I could charge up with lightning. Yeah, these are basically easier version of Rough Puffs from Paper Mario 1. But thankfully, Goombella can take these guys out very quickly. There's a pipe up here, and the paper airplane signal, but that's not actually going to take us anywhere. Aw, oh, there's no star piece behind there. Whoa, hi! <laughs> Slap you on the head with a hammer. Oh! He's got a thunderbolt, so it's good to take him out as fast as possible. Oh, you can take up the other one. <laughs> I 
I love the damage dodge badge. He would normally damage me one, even if I guarded, but with damage dodge, he doesn't. Yeah, get out of here. I feel like one of these trees should shake. Maybe not. Oh, and welcome to one of the boggly illusions. Yeah, you can just climb right up through here. And yep, hidden block there. We get the P-Down D-Up P-Badge. Drops the damage your ally deals and receives by one. So if you want your ally to get better defense, then that's a decent badge. Hitting that switch will make it go up higher. So now we can count it higher. Count it higher. Sesame Street reference for the win. And look back there. That's a shine sprite. We've got coops, so... There we go. Most of the time, you can get the shine sprites on your first visit to a world, so... Where there's a will, there's a way, usually. <gasps> yes! We get the Quake Hammer Badge! Slightly damages all ground enemies. I am equipping that. Takes two... Alright, that's cool. Um... Let's see, I don't really need close call and all unequipped power smash. Quake Hammer will let us take out multiple classes in one battle. I was wondering when we'd get that badge. Hey! Rats. That is a rough puff with a dizzy dial. As you remember, dizzy dials well make dizzy, so we're getting him out of there. Yep, I was afraid of that. If I jump on his head, will I still damage him? No, it won't! Sure enough, that's a nasty attack. Which is why it's nice to get the first strike against Rough Puffs. I'm waiting for the Mario uh, <laughs> universe to create... Oh, star piece on that tree. Nice. I'm waiting for the Mario universe to create a cream puff enemy. It's like a rough puff, but a dessert flavored. Look! There in the distance! That's what I was telling you about! Flurry's place! Hmm... That could be helpful to get. Also back there is a vulture room, and we have too much stuff. Let's throw it out, and we can eat... Uh, honey syrup. Actually... Kuba tea's better. Restores a little bit more FP. Voltrum is not a very good item, but I need it for a recipe or two. And yep, Star Piece back there. Like I've said, Star Pieces are pretty much just behind stuff in this, so they're pretty easy to find. And there are no Chuck Quizmo uh, quizzes in this, so... Less backtracking there. Uh, excuse me! Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Maybe. Madam Flurry! Hello! If you're here, say something! Let's go in here. Eek! No! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Uh, Madam Flurry? Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door that we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so and they're, they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you, can, if you can't find the secret entrance, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. 
It's simply, if it, I'd be simply scandalized if I saw anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I am all about the accessories. Really, Gumella? You seem to be just... I guess she does have the nice little tie, so that could be it. Hey, wait a sec! You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time! I swear someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear, find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little punio. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Word is, he's super. You can do it, right, Mario? I am Super Mario. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Huh? Did you just say nah? Um, what's wrong with you? Let's go find her necklace. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you so. I like having Mario be portrayed as a jerk in this. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Baldum, I told you. Blaming me for losing the sketch, and you had it. Silence, you twit. Now is not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. Guh? Guh? Yep, she had it all on. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ack! He's Mr. Mustache! Guh? Guh? Ack! I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair! You're the one who had the- Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me! Ah, oh, this is not fair! And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more! Oh. And, since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump! Uh, good. <laughs> oh boy. Well, they've got the necklace, so we gotta go back and face them anyways. Rip, whoop -de doo skipping through the boggly woods. Oh, the enemies regrow. Are you serious? <laughs> well, the nice thing is I can just skip these battles. Uh, at least in the video editing. And I'll be getting a lot of money. Here is the power of Quake Hammer. It would have damaged the other two guys, except they're in the air. Let's show off a little. All right, six of everything. <laughs> That's lucky. Let's hope the devil doesn't show up. Even though the devil's number in the original Greek, or not, well, I mean, in the Greek version of the Bible, the devil's number is actually six one six, which is interesting. Oh, why did I do that? Ow, my foot! All right, we're gonna be fighting the shadow sirens up ahead, so I want to make sure I've got some good badges equipped. Actually, this is a pretty good lineup. I'm not sure if I want Quake Hammer. I might equip Power Smash instead, but it would be nice to damage all of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave Quake Hammer on. Alright, time for the main fight. Well, if it isn't Mario, shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Because we were waiting for you. Ooh, that's them! They're the ones who had the... Wait a minute, what? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you freaks? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... 
The free... Shadow Beauties! The free Shadow Beauties? Vivian, you nincompoop! What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! I don't see free beauties. I see two, but then there's you and your plug ugly. Um, she's by far the most attractive out of all of you. All right, sis, I'm sorry. It's just you always call us lovelies, and... It's just a figure of speech. Ooh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Aw, oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies, or rather, my lovely and ugly, Marilyn, Vivian. The might of the free Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. Go. Yeah, time for the mini-boss of the Shadow Sirens. It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marinette, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Good. Yes, sis. Alright, so this is a rare fight. Um, you fight the Shadow Sirens later on in the game, but this is the only time you can actually tattle on Vivian. So... I would recommend doing that as soon as you can. And this is where Quake Hammer will come in handy, because we can damage all three of them at once. I also recommend taking out Marilyn first, since she is the most powerful. But I'm tattling on Vivian first. Just to make sure I don't miss her. That's Vivian! She's the youngest of the three Shadow Sirens. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, and defense is 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she is kind of cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. I guess. Uh, what am I thinking? Vivian's the toughest to guard against, but Marilyn is much more powerful. Well, I guess only about. And Beldum's pretty easy to defend against. Alright. Eh, we still have some FP, so... Oh, the shoe's gonna fall on them. Yes! Vivian has the least amount of HP out of all of them, so... Alright, let's get Marilyn. That's Marilyn. She's a Shadow Siren, Beldum's younger sister. Max HP is 12, attack is 2, and defense is 0. She charges up her attacks occasionally. Says she's here she's the toughest of the sisters, so it might be best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics. Ack! You're tougher than I thought, Mr. Mustache! I guess it's time to stop toying with you, hmm? I forgot she could do that. I forgot she could do that. I do remember you uh, shooting me that, though. Okay, I think it's time for Sweet Treat. Because we are running low on everything. Avoiding the poison mushrooms is a bit uh, tough at times. There's only ever three in one Sweet Treat, though. Oh, Mario did not get very much HP. That's a shame. But we got a lot of FP. Alright. Last tattle. That's Beldum. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the Shadow Sirens. Max HP is 9, attack is 1, and defense is 0. I forgot she has less HP than Vivian, but her Blizzard attack is an attack of 2. She can make her partners big and us tiny, and attacks with weird magic. The worst thing about her is that sinister snicker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you want to avoid like the plague, you know? Really? She's using Fiery Jinx again? Ow. Okay. Well, hmm. Oh, yes! That was perfect! <laughs> now it's up to you. <laughs> that was so perfect. <laughs> Goodbye, Marilyn. Oh, good. Ah, no bingo. I still do not know the timing to guard against that. <laughs> Sorry, Vivian. I know you're not that evil. Eek! 30 star points, though. That's pretty nice. But, man, Beldum was very cooperative. Never even shrank us. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident. 
Meriden, Vivian, you lumps! We would have won if you two pulled your weight! Both of you prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home. Eek! Gah! Y yes, sis. Aww. And we get the necklace, though. Flurry's favorite necklace. That's Flurry's necklace! Yes! Let's take it to her. That we will in the next episode of Paper Mario Fest New Door by Colorful Artie. Thank you so much for watching. I am Colorful Artie, as you know. Tune in next time. We will be getting Flurry and entering the Boggly Tree. Have a great day, and God bless.